Hello, and thanks for staying with us for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, what are you doing now? Trish, you never know. Oh, yeah, with you, that is so true. But what, what are we talking about now? Prowlers, Trish. Home invaders. You gotta be ready at all times. Yeah, it might be nice if you have some training on how to handle those situations too, Stevie. Hey, I've seen every episode of The Walking Dead. Not that kind of training, Stevie. More people have handguns for protection in their homes than ever before. And with that comes the responsibility to be well trained. I know just the guy too, Trish. Former Special Forces Green Beret, Clint Dooley. He even has a name that sounds army tough. There's, there's five animals that I usually try to get young adults to identify with in order to increase their awareness, but they work just as well for us too. Is most people walk around in field mice mode where they have their head in their phone and they're, they're jamming away and they don't have their eyes up. So when they get a, you know plucked out of the field by a bird, they're really surprised, right? Well, I want everybody to go from that field mice mentality to an owl. An owl that always has its eyes up, it puts itself in the best possible position to have a good field of view and it sees something, it just repositions itself. It's hard to sneak up on an owl. If you do see something, then you go into the, like the cheetah mindset where you're going to think really quick around the problem, over the problem, under the problem, through the problem, but you're not going to get into an engagement with the problem because you're going to outthink it. If you get cornered and let's say you didn't see it and someone grabs you and pulls you into an alleyway or next thing you know punches you and throws you into your car, well you're going right to lion mode. You, you're going to be fierce, you're going to be effective, and you're only in lion mode long enough to get back to cheetah mode to get back to owl mode. Now the last animal is kind of you don't want to be on either side of that spectrum. You have the field mice right here and people that don't have that training and the ability to, to slide up and down in the middle they go from field mice to fainting goat where they just kind of lay down and are at the mercy of their attacker and we don't want them to be at either spot. My name is Clint Dooley and I'm the owner and operator of uh, BIA Training Solutions. My background is that I did 12 years in the military. I graduated here in Jinx in 2001. After 9-11, I signed up for the Army and uh, went to, uh, right into the war in Iraq for the invasion. Came back and started going to school and my dad passed away unexpectedly and that's what kind of propelled me into doing it full time. I left here and went to the 82nd Airborne Division, um, jumped out of a lot of planes over the next few years. Uh, and then afterwards, I was playing rugby at Bragg, and a couple SF guys came up to me and they said, Clint, we hear you're getting out, and we think you should you know, consider coming to selection and working with guys like us. Not to be confused with special operations, you know, talking about the Green Berets. So I went through the Q course and became uh, a weapons specialist, got to an A team, and did multiple deployments to Afghanistan. The pinnacle of being an operator in Afghanistan was getting to work with the indigenous forces, training them, advising them, equipping them, you know, eating with them at night, and then taking them out on missions and see them and the impact they would have in their, uh, their hometowns. But when I came back, I started working at the United States Shooting Academy in Owasso, where I taught pretty much everything. And then from there, I made the jump over here to BIA. What we do is we, we create an environment. It's a less than lethal training facility, so you don't have any problems or thoughts of injury or anything like that. And what that does is it lowers your anxiety. And when your anxiety is lowered, then all of a sudden your ears start hearing what's being said versus trying not to, you're, have you ever let a dog out and it's just totally overwhelmed by traffic passing by? Well, that's kind of what it is when you take someone who is brand new to shooting and you put them on a range. They are just, eyes every which way and they're having a hard time focusing on you because they're way outside of their element. Well what I wanted to do is I wanted to create an element where people could come in the very first time, feel right at ease, train them and increase their survivability the first time. I'm so good at what I do that I'm going to find those talents inside of you and I'm going to bring them out and you're not going to have to change who you are. You're just going to have to understand that there's some things you can do, some things you can't do and you have me to work with you on everything in between. I don't know, it means the world to me to say, listen, you know, I came in, I got to do what I was trained to do, which is teach people how to protect themselves, and it's not just a teaching thing where they just came in to have fun and shoot some paint and they're out. It's actually something that 
is going to serve them well and I've already gotten a couple calls from people that have had to use some of these things and they're like you know I'm, I heard your voice in my head the entire time I, I was in this situation did anything happen no okay because you saw it and she goes as soon as I saw it I your voice was in my head and I did what I thought you know I went right back to BIA and I I was like, this isn't a strange situation. I've been here. I know what to do. Versus, oh God, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And then going right into that fainting goat mode. So it means the world to me.